Did you ever hear about the toilet paper who got stuck in a crack? Well, it was having a really terrible day. Ah, toilet paper. Our unsung hero, the silent partner in our daily lives. We all know it's there, we all use it, yet it's seldom a topic of conversation. Until now, that is. Can you imagine a world without it? The horror? Sure, there are alternatives, but let's be honest, none of them are quite as satisfying or as comforting as our trusty role of TP. And have you ever thought about its journey? From a humble tree in the forest to that plush soft roll in your bathroom, it's quite the Cinderella story, isn't it? Oh, and speaking of stories, did you hear about the toilet paper that crossed the road? It just wanted to get to the bottom of things. But enough about toilet paper jokes, ever wondered how this essential item is made? Buckle up because you're about to find out! You might think that making toilet paper involves some sort of magic but it's actually a fascinating process. Now brace yourself as we dive into the world of toilet paper production. First off, we start with wood. Yes, that's right. Your humble toilet paper starts its journey as a towering tree. But unfortunately for the tree it doesn't get to keep its lofty heights. Instead it's chopped down, and its bark is stripped off. Next, the wood gets pulped. Now, pulping is a fancy way of saying it's turned into mush. Kind of like what happens to your brain after binge-watching a whole season of your favorite show in one night. And don't be fooled, this isn't your grandma's applesauce. This wood pulp is a slurry of water and fibers that's about as appetizing as last week's leftover meatloaf. Once we've got our pulp, it's time for bleaching. No, we're not talking about your favorite laundry detergent secret weapon. We're talking about a chemical process that turns the pulp from a brownish color to a dazzling white. It's like a beauty treatment for your toilet paper. After the pulp has been bleached, it's time for drying. The pulp is spread out and heated until it's dry. It's kind of like laying out on the beach to get a tan, but without the sunburn or the annoying seagulls. Next we have embossing. This is where the toilet paper gets its signature texture. It's like giving the toilet paper a unique fingerprint. But instead of being used for crime scene investigations it's used for... Well, you get the idea. Finally we get to rolling. The paper is wound onto large rolls and then cut into smaller more manageable sizes. It's like rolling out a red carpet but instead of welcoming celebrities it's welcoming... Let's just say, a different kind of star. And voila, just like that, we have the roll of toilet paper that saves our day, every day. So to wrap up or should we say roll up, our journey through the fascinating world of toilet paper production has been quite the adventure. Picture this. Our hero, a humble tree, embarks on an epic journey, braving the mighty pulping process, enduring the intense pressure of the paper machine, until it emerges, transformed into a roll of paper that's softer than a baby's bottom. Talk about a plot twist. The journey doesn't end there. Oh no, our roll of toilet paper then takes a detour through the embossing station where it gains its signature texture, before ending its trek on the shelf of your local store, ready to embark on its final journey, to your bathroom. Next time you reach for that roll of toilet paper remember it's not just paper it's a product of a transformation that's as fascinating as it is hilarious. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes of everyday items.